This is that Farron Forge Allurus, and I just refinished the scales. I gave it a super fine stone wash, but that's not what we're gonna talk about. We're gonna unbox this in a second. So guys, this box came to me from Russell at Artisan. I don't know what's in it, but we're gonna split it open and take a look. I think we're gonna go right down the middle. Only thing I did was remove the address labels. So, see what's in here. This knife is so ridiculously sharp. So, I'm not 100% sure what's in here. We're about to find out. So, oh, yeah, there's not enough room. Does these look like some fixed plates? So, let's go ahead and pull these out of the box. All right, guys, like I said, I have to apologize for lighting. It's gonna seem a little off because I have got a an, an power outlet out here that runs uh, most of the stuff in the garage and it's not working. So I can't turn on my studio lights, just the overheads. So, oh, let's look at this one first. I think this is that Tigris, I think is what they were calling it. I've been trying to get Russell to send me one of these for a while. So this is the C-A-R-B, or is this just the Caldera? I think this is just the Caldera. Hang on just a second. It is. It's just the Caldera, so we'll have to see. Uh, this was a prototype that Jared sent me. This is the CJRB Caldera, uh, just in a different color scheme. I really like that. That looks good. So we already did a video on this, so this is going to be quick, but I like this better. I think I like this better. Just the look. The red. You can't go wrong with red and black. You cannot go wrong with red and black. Oh, black titan or black aluminum backspacer that has been hard coat anodized red, same as the pivot pivot collar. The pivot collar, the pivot collar, Mike. Yeah, I like that. It, it, we've seen this knife before, but I like this color configuration a lot better. So, in comparison. Prototype, I think the prototype's a little bit smoother, but then again, it's been played with a lot. This is what's been in my pocket. We're gonna replace it with this one. I wanna see if I like how much I like it better. Well, I gotta find out if this has to go back. So yeah, red and black, really good. Action on this is as good almost as the other one that's, that's been a little bit more broken. Edge on this, as I would expect, is really keen. I don't think this is as thin as the prototype. So we're gonna get us, yeah, I don't think it is quite as thin. We'll get a side-by-side -side comparison on this for sure um, from prototype to production. I'm not feeling a weight difference really. But I do know that that's not aluminum, I don't think. Is that? Let's do a tap test. I don't know, it could be, we'll have to see. Um, I'm pretty sure though that that is composite. Hang on. Nope, it's aluminum. So at any rate, prototype and production. So let's get this out of the way. And we'll take a look at what's in these boxes underneath. Guys, I hate to interrupt the video because I know we're having fun, but I do have to do the YouTuber thing and remind you that this channel is self-sponsored with all the affiliate links and stuff you see down below. Anything from knives, tools, EDC gear, and uh, Blade HQ, anything, all the Amazon links, they all support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything at checkout. So I'll talk about that at the end of the video. Now let's go back to the knives. Take a look. I think this is a couple of the fixed blades. I'm not sure. We will see shortly. But I do know that they have some new fixed blades coming out. So let's get into this one. Let's look at the CJRB first. Sorry. Just an impromptu unboxing. Yeah, I think I know what this is. I think this is one of the Flowers fixed blades. I'm not sure which one this is. Yeah, this is one of those Flowers fixed blades. Yeah. I like that blade shape. That is a very good looking knife. So this is done in ARRPM9 steel. I'm not sure the model on this, but that handle is really comfortable. That is so light. Oh man. I wonder if it's skeletonized underneath. We'll have to take it apart, take a look. Um, jimping on that is great. Big, full, fuller, kind of a it's like a drop point bolo style blade. It's got a nice big belly and a little bit of weight forward, but no recurve. It's it's got like I would like 
it kind of feels like it would have a recurve in another in a lot of other brands. I really do like this. Let's see. It's not too uh, it's not too thick behind the edge, even though it is a fixed blade, and that is done really well. Man, that handle is so comfortable. It is light. I don't think you'd be doing a lot of heavy chopping with this. Definitely looks like some really well done G10 on that ARPM9 steel. I think is that a hex? That is. That's a small hex. I'm wondering if there's. I'm wondering if there's stuff underneath this because the sheath is pretty tight. I'm gonna say this was sent this way. I think that there's a model where you have removable scales. I'm not sure, but that is nice. I like that. I, you guys know I love a good fixed blade. I am sweating. It's 86% humidity again today. I took the weekend off and didn't film anything. I should have because it was nice and cool and fairly dry. Yeah, yeah, comes with a belt loop and a neck cord. So there you go for all you guys who are like, oh, Artisan and CGR Bright, their fixed blades only come with a neck cord. Uh, that one has a belt loop. So let's go ahead and look at this last one. And this last one is, I think, uh, it doesn't have a name on it. I really wish that they had names on, written on these. So I think that's another flowers design. If I remember right, this is gonna be that one that looks like a dagger. Yeah, it's this is, this is that artisan um, that Joe Flowers did. I like this, I like this blade shape a lot. I saw this at Blade Show West. This is a great fixed blade, really nice shape. I just, I think I said it at the show before, that handle belongs on this knife. That, that handle on the previous knife belongs on this knife. It would be really, don't get me wrong, this is a really comfortable handle. So ARPM 9 steel again, um, G10, nice coffin shape handle, lanyard hole. That is a very good looking blade shape. It is not double side, it is not double edged, but it definitely is an attractive, almost dagger style blade, but that's really functional because You've got a lot of thinness at the tip. You could use this for a lot of things. One of the things that is uncommon that you could use this for is if you needed to dig. If you were out in an outdoor situation, you could dig with this because it's got a broader blade profile, which is something nice. Big fuller on both sides. Really looks good. It looks like a boot knife. It really does. That handle is really comfortable. I just think that the other handle would feel better on this, I think. I think I said that at Blade Show West. So um, yeah, just a real quick um, impromptu unboxing. I'm not gonna do much with this. We're just gonna take a quick look at them. Um, I'm pretty sure that these have to go back. Oh, that sheath is tight. I'm pretty sure these have to go back to Russell's. So um, I'll find out exactly the, the, the ins and outs of these, what stays, what goes. We might do a giveaway, who knows? Um, but I don't ever ask I don't ever ask that companies send me anything to keep. I just like seeing stuff. So uh, any companies out there that want to send me stuff to look at on the channel, I'm not one of those guys that, that has to keep it and wants free stuff. I just like stuff on the channel. So there you go, guys. Let's turn this around and do some final thoughts. This, uh, I'll have to fil film that later because I can't get my studio lights turned on right now. So at any rate, uh, we will do some outro and uh, final thoughts as soon as I figure out power. So there you go, guys. Just a quick unboxing of some stuff that came from Russell over at Artisan. Don't know how long it's going to be before I actually get around to doing this stuff because there's a ton of stuff here. So guys, there you go. That's it on this one. If you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down. But please try to tell me why. I can't change that content if you don't tell me what you don't like. If you want to support the channel, it's as simple as like, share, subscribe, drop a comment, hit the bell icon. If you do hit the bell icon, make sure you get notifications, turn on your device, or you will not get notified of these sometimes three things that go up a day. I think that schedule's about to change. Um, other ways you can do it if you want to support the channel financially, like I said in the intermission, there is a bunch, there are a bunch of affiliate links down below. Everything down there, I get a little bit of it at checkout. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it definitely supports the channel. So if you can do some shopping, use some of my Amazon affiliate links or any of the Blade HQ or any of the links, all kinds of stuff down there. Other ways you can do it, I have a membership down below that is tier-based. Pick the tier that gets you what you want out of the membership. But remember, everyone saves $5 off my sharpening service. Everyone has access to the Gilded server. 
The baseline and premium tier members are entered, automatically entered into a giveaway that I do on uh, the Gilded server, and the premium tier guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series. Wow, that took a while to say. Uh, and the final way you can do it is I have a merchandise store on Ember Shirt Co. Any merchandise you purchase, I can save you 10% at checkout with my coupon code Crazy Sharp, capital C, capital S, Crazy Sharp, all one word, saves you 10% at checkout. And if you purchase my merchandise and send me pictures of you wearing them, I will put them in a video. Guys, that's it. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comments section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I will see you next time.